Now, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the Norwegian infantry from Victrix. Okay, so we have our pack of Norwegian infantry and they are 28 mil hard plastic, um, 30 models. Um, now, don't throw this away straight away because this um, on the back here tells you which um, parts go with which particular figures. So keep hold of this until you finish building your troops. Uh, other, because there are no instructions, these are the instructions on the back here. So, let's take this off and get into them. So, as with all Victrix, they come in this um, Ziploc bag, uh, which I think is a better way of doing it, because um, at least with the Ziploc bag, you can actually make use of it afterwards. It's not something you have to throw into recycling or anything. So, your 30, big, your 30 troops come on four sprues. So we'll just take one sprue. They're all the same. The sprues aren't different. Um, now, each sprue comes with eight bodies. Um, there are a number of heads on each sprue, so you get a good selection um, of heads. Um, some of them, uh, it's you put the helmets on rather than the head. So you've got, well, you've got these these particular figures here. I'll get close-ups in a minute of them. Um, those take the helmets, just the helmets, whereas the other bodies take the heads. Now. As with all of Vitrix kits, there is a good selection of different weapons to use. So you've got like, things like hand axe, swords, spears. Um, and so you you can and um, there's a mace there, a couple of maces there as well. And um, so you've got a good choice of weapons to arm these up with. Uh, you're not stuck with one particular weapon or two weapon types. You've got a good choice of weapon types there. Um, shields, you get two different types of shields. Um, they're both kite shields. Though some are flat, like this one here, and some have a curve to them. So there's a slight curvature to the shield rather than just a flat shield. Um, Troops come in either male or quilted jackets. Um, and apart from that, that is pretty much uh, what the bog standard Norman infantry are, um, is. It's, just, it's a pretty straightforward, simple kit. Um, you can go, you've, like I said, you've got a good choice of what weapons to use and make up a a few or 30 troops are so you could go some um, a selection of spear axes and swords um, and to build up your units if you're playing something like saga you could make two or three units small little skirmish units out of this ones you know with sword one with axes and one with some um, spear um, so like I said, yeah it's a good kit nice little kit um, hard plastic and has um, good selection of melee weapons to actually give your troops. Now, with this kit, it is predominantly Norman period. So we're looking at sort of 11th century troops, which will work for anything that's sort of uh, continental Europe of that period. And uh, the Normans were clashing with other local neighbours in Normandy. It will also work for First Crusades. And obviously the Norman invasion of England. Now, if you kit bash these 
with the uh, War Games Atlantic troops, uh, knights, uh, foot knights, or with the Victrix uh, um, mounted knights, you could extend these into the anarchy period of England uh, and um, into later periods into um, continental Europe as well. Um, and that will take you sort of probably to about 1150-ish, maybe a little bit later than that. Um, sort of post the anarchy period, going into the 13th century, you started to see um, troops using uh, less of the kite shields and were starting to use the... Um, the teardrop sort of um, shields, the smaller shield, um, and the helmets started to change as well. You started to get full helm, full helm, helmeted helmets, full face helmets, you know what I mean, rather than the typical this style, that which was uh, the sort of general helmet used, used in the sort of early medieval period. It was a generic sort of helmet design in the sort of late sort of medieval, early medieval period, so you know, like Viking, Saxon, and then, and then Normans. Those, these are helmets were started to sort of phase out as you got into the sort of mid, sort of 12th century, sort of, and, and beyond, they started to use a full facial helmet as you would see in anyone that's picked up the War Games Atlantic miniatures or the, the Victrix Mounted miniatures, you will notice that they're using what we would commonly know as a medieval helmet. It's a full face protected hel uh, helmet. Um, so, you, you know, you're looking this sort of style of helmet where it's fully protected the head. Anyway, that's pretty much the kit. There's not much to it. Um, you get four, four of these sprues, which will make you up. You make up 30 troops, um, and you've got a good uh, mix of weapons choices to actually add, and, and helmet choices to use. Okay, the... Um, Normal infantry kit. Um, it's quite a versatile kit. Um, as I said, said you, you can, if you kit bash it with the medieval knights from um, War Games Atlantic or the medieval knights from Victrix, you can take them beyond the normal period into sort of the um, early 12th century. And I know you can make up infantry for the anarchy period. Um, so, just by doing a bit of kit bashing, you extend the sort of life of those miniatures, so from 1066 to probably about 1150, 1155, something like that. So, you get that good chunk of period in which the, you can actually use those miniatures for. Um, and so, they, like I said, again, they work for the 1066 and the invasion of England by the Normans and then the period, an immediate period after that um, as they're trying to sort of control the rest of England. And then by adding and kit bashing bits and pieces from the Victrix Medieval Knights and maybe some from the Warlord Atlantic Knights, you can then take those miniatures into the Anarchy period. Um, and it's Quite a, in that way, it's quite a versatile kit, and it covers a good chunk of medieval period. And obviously, you could take them into the. You could also take those min, uh, miniatures into the First Crusades as well. So there's good scope for those miniatures, and a good, ni nice, good kit from Victrix again. Anyway, that's all from me this week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.